Beach Profile A beach profile is a precise measurement of the slope and width of a beach, which when repeated over time, illustrates how the beach is eroding or accreting. Any changes occurring on the beach can be measured through beach profiles. Profiles are very useful for the planning, management and sustainable use of coasts. Measurements can be taken with your students or with members of your group. The following materials are necessary for beach profiling. Pencils, clipboard, data sheets, tape measure, apnea level, telescopic leveling rod and a regular rod, magnifying glass, Measuring beach profiles. The following steps need to be completed once you reach the beach. Number one, locate a reference mark. This is the position where you will begin measuring. The reference mark is usually a rectangle that is painted on a wall or a tree. It is essential to always start the beach profile measurement at the reference mark. Pictures should be taken of the reference mark. Three different marks must be taken along the adopted beach. Number two, divide the profile into segments. Place a telescopic leveling rod at each break on the slope. The end point of the profile is located where the wave breaks. There is usually a marked downward step. If there is no step, continue the profile as far into the water as safety permits. Number three, Identify the segment of the beach where the measurements are being taken. You may use letters to identify the location. For example, A, B, and C. Number four, measure the vertical distance from the top of the reference mark to the ground level. Number five, measure the vertical distance from the observer's eye level to the ground level. Number six, Place the telescopic leveling rod at the first break on the slope. Make sure that the sand only covers the black tip of the rod. The rod should be vertical and aligned with the reference mark. Number seven, the observer stands by the reference mark and uses the apnea level to locate his or her eye level on the telescopic leveling rod. Number eight, to read the apnea level, please refer to Annex two of the Sandwatch Manual. The apnea level is divided into degrees. The scale is marked in intervals of 10 degrees. Number nine, use the tape measure to determine the ground distance from the base of the reference point to the base of the telescopic leveling rod. Do not measure the horizontal distance, just measure along the slope. This measurement is for the first segment. Number 10. For the second segment, place the regular rod in the exact position where the first segment ends. The telescopic leveling rod is moved towards the next break in the slope. The observer stands next to the regular rod and repeats the use of the apnea level and the tape measure. This is repeated in each segment. On the data sheet, under observations, record any other event that might be affecting the beach or that is unusual for the place that is being observed. The data can be recorded, saved, and studied using computer programs like Excel and Profile. Sandwatch created Profile for this purpose. After completing this activity, participants will be capable of identifying changes on the beach. Frequently repeat this activity and develop your own conclusions as to the dynamics and what factors contribute to coastal changes.